Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in to the Wife Football channel. I appreciate those of you who have subscribed. If you haven't yet, please do so. I'm gonna keep posting a video every single Tuesday. And this week's training video reflects my week of training, which is actually a rest week. So I'm gonna do 10 minute living room yoga. And I'm calling it that because I'm actually doing it in my living room. So can you. You can do it while you're watching TV, hanging out with your family, whatever. Give it a try. Uh, make up your own routine if you want. But anyway, here's what I usually do if I'm just gonna stretch and get in a relaxing yoga session. We're gonna start, make sure you have a little bit of area, you don't need much. We're gonna start by just kind of loosening up the body, feet shoulder, shoulder width apart, and you're just gonna raise your arms to the ceiling, kind of look up, stretch up high, interlace your fingers and kind of lock out your elbows, and just look up, make your body nice and tall, long, and relax those shoulders and lean over to the right. So you're gonna feel a stretch in your left side, kind of throughout your whole left side. Back up to the middle, over to the left. Take some deep breaths as you do so. Back up to the middle. We're just gonna to go to each side one more time. So still extending nice and long over to the right, up, and over to the left. I always like to start like that to loosen up my upper body. I'm gonna move the camera down now so everyone can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna be on my floor actually in my living room. So now that you've done that, now we're just gonna kind of hang. Just let your body hang. You're gonna feel it in your hamstrings. Hang your head, everything. Let your back loosen up. And now you're gonna interlace your fingers behind your back and kind of get your shoulders involved. Lock out your elbows again. And now alternating knees, you're just gonna bend your knee for a couple seconds and feel the intense hamstring stretch in the other knee. So bend the right, you feel it in the left side. And then bend the left, you feel it in the right side. A couple times on each leg. And then again, just hang. And next, you want to walk your hands out into kind of a calf stretch push-up position. I'm going to actually turn to the side to make sure you can see everything I'm doing. Good. So you're now going to be in kind of a downward dog stretch, pushing the head between the hands. And now we're going to alternate stretching each calf. So make sure you stretch your right calf and then bend that right knee to feel it in the right Achilles. So we'll straighten bend, straighten, bend a couple times. And now the same, side, same thing on the left side. Feel it in the left calf, then bend to get that left Achilles. Straighten the leg out, bend the knee, and one more time, straighten, bend. Now back into that downward dog stretch. You're gonna now, three times, bring the right knee up towards the chest and extend it back out into the air. So one, two, just keeping the mobility going, and three, you might feel this intensely in the left leg. Same thing with the left leg, you should feel it in the right hamstring and calf, one, up to the chest, back out, two, and three. And then back into downward dog. Now with the right leg, you're gonna do the same thing up to the chest, back out, and this time, bring it up next to your right hand. Keeping the left leg straight, you should feel the stretch now kind of in your right groin and hip area. Now you wanna bring your right elbow down next to your right ankle if you can, just intensify the stretch. And then your right hand up towards the ceiling, look up, back down. Same thing with the left arm pointing up towards the ceiling, looking up, involving the back and the spine a little, back down. Now you're gonna straighten out your right leg. It's okay if your right toes come off the ground. Really intense stretch in the right hamstring. You can bend it again, and now we're gonna go into pigeon pose. So you're just gonna bend that right knee and see if you can get it down to the ground. Really feeling this in the hip. If you can lay all the way down and reach out, that's good. I'm not really at that level, so I kind of stay like this. My hips are not the loosest. 
and then kind of unfold out of that and back into downward dog. So again, this is great because you don't need much space and you can do it kind of while you're watching TV. Only takes about 10 minutes. Now with the left leg, same thing. We're gonna bring it up to the chest, extend back and up next to the left hand. Keeping that right leg straight if you can. You're gonna bring the left elbow next to the left ankle and then up to the ceiling, looking up. Left hand down. Same thing with the right arm, up to the ceiling, looking up at it. And down. Straightening out the left leg. Toes up if you need. Feel that in the hamstring. And then down, same thing, pigeon pose with the left leg. Seeing if you can keep that right leg straight if you can. My left hip's a little tighter than my right one. Lean into it a little. You can hold these each for as long as you want or feel comfortable. I kind of move through it fluidly, but if you feel that one thing is especially tight, you can hold it for longer. And then back up into downward dog. Now again, you're gonna go with the right leg up to the chest and out, and this time up between the hands. And you're gonna take your hands off the ground so you're in kind of a long lunge. The left leg should still be pretty straight, just leaning into that right hip in a lunge. And then I lower my left leg to the ground just so it doesn't get too intense. And as I lean forward into the lunge, I'm gonna raise my left arm kind of to increase the stretch in that left hip flexor. So I'm gonna lean into it, raise the left arm, and then down and relax three times. One, two, and relax, and three, and now just bring it back into downward dog. Same thing on the left leg, so up to the chest, back out, up between the hands, and again now taking the weight off the hands and kind of resting the hands on the leg, balancing for a second here before lowering that right knee. And now we're gonna stretch the right hip flexor. So where the left arm's gonna go up as we push forward. And relax. Three times again, two. Relax. And three. And relax. Good job. So that ends kind of the beginning part of my routine. Now I like to sit down and do a little bit more relaxing stretches. So I stretch my hamstrings a lot, but I'm gonna continue with one more hamstring stretch. I'll go sideways so you can see. So you're gonna just lay back, hopefully I have enough room here. You're gonna lay back and raise both legs, if you can, and straighten them towards the ceiling. Then I'm gonna hold on, clasp my arms around my right calf, and five times I'm gonna keep my legs straight, my left leg, and I'm gonna lower my left leg towards the ground. So one, I feel it in my right hamstring here. Two, three, four, and five. Then I switch legs, so now I'm holding the left. You can hold it wherever feels comfortable for you. And then lowering the right leg five times. One, two, three, four, five. From here, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna keep my leg bent a little bit. So now I'm gonna take the right leg and kind of hold it in this position, bent, so I feel it in the groin and hip. And I'm gonna start with my left leg up and go five times. One, two, this is a little more for the hip and groin. Three, so you should feel this in the right leg, really. Four, five, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the left. So it's bent, kind of in, if you know yoga, it's like half of the happy baby pose. One, two, three, four, five. Good, and now just sitting up, I'm just gonna get a simple groin stretch, like a butterfly stretch. I always have to make sure I stretch my groin 
groins and hips a little extra because my hamstrings are very flexible, but sometimes my groin and hip are not the same. So I'm gonna get that. And then bring one leg out. I'll move so you can see. I like to do this because it really gets my lower back. So I'm gonna have my right leg extended, left leg still in that butterfly stretch. And with the left arm, reach to my right toe and kind of just pull. And I feel it in the left side of my lower back right here. If you can get your head all the way down to your knee, that's great. This one again is mostly for my back. You may feel it in your hamstring. And then I switch. So the right leg is in the butterfly stretch, left leg straight, right arm to left foot. Same thing, now I feel it in this right side of my lower back. From there, I like to do what's called the couch stretch, and I'm literally gonna do it on my couch. You can use a pillow if you want to underneath your knee, but this is going to stretch the quad. So you can do this while you're watching TV. You're gonna use the couch as leverage, keep the right leg up, and if you're stretching the left quad, the left knee is on the ground, left foot is up next to the couch, and you're just gonna push back and then release. I'm gonna do five on each. Two, three, four, and five. And then I'm gonna to switch to the right leg. So the right knee will be on the ground, left leg up in front. And again, now I'm stretching that right quad. So it's one, push back, then relax. Two, three, four, and five. That's a really good quad stretch. Last but not least, I'm gonna get a couple things for my back. First, I'm gonna do the lower back. So I'm gonna get into back into downward dog and just lower myself down to the ground here. Again, I'll go so everyone can see. I'm gonna do a couple of what, I don't know if it's called Cobra, or what's, what it's called, but just keeping the rest of my body on the ground, I'm gonna push up and get the lower back. Ooh, mine just cracked a lot. I'm gonna do five, one, two, three, four, and five. I find that's really good for back mobility, especially in the lower back. And then last but not least, I'm going to do what's called the pretzel stretch. So to do this, this is a little more complicated. You're going to lay first on your left side with your left arm extended. You're going to bend your right knee and with your left hand, hold your right knee down to the ground. Then with your right hand, you're going to grab your left foot behind. So you're kind of getting a quad stretch on that left quad, and with the right shoulder, you're gonna bring your right shoulder out towards the ground, really stretching that spine, one. I'll do five on each of this, two, three, four, and five. You can see why it's called the pretzel. I'll do the other way so you can see this way. So now you're gonna lie on your right side extending that right arm. Left leg is gonna bend. You're gonna grab that with the right hand, keep it down. The left leg is gonna be grabbed, or the right leg, sorry, is gonna be grabbed with the left hand, kind of pulling it back into a quad stretch. And then my left shoulder now is gonna open up towards the ground five times. One, back up, two, three, four, and five. Thank you so okay. much for joining me today. I appreciate you following along. Comment below, let me know if you like this yoga session, if there are other things you wanna know how to stretch. If you wanna add in your own stretches, please do so. Subscribe to the Y Football channel and I'll see you next Tuesday. For more videos like this, subscribe to the Y Football channel and comment below this video to let me know the things you want to learn.